You're watching lacrosse inside the game. Across Inside the Game is brought to you by Arctic Spas. www.artichottubs.com. Your one-stop shop for hot tubs and all that kind of stuff. Thanks a lot, guys, for sponsoring us. It's Junior Toronto Nationals at their new home, Lamport Stadium, located in trendy Liberty Village. Come enjoy the fun in our Hooters Party Zone and lacrosse exclusive vendors area. So welcome back this week in lacrosse. Gary Mark along with Ron Messer and Mess. We're outside. It's live lacrosse. Yeah, man. The Clarington Lacrosse Bowl right behind us here. Back out of the way there a bit, Gary. You can see that. One of the few outdoor facilities uh, still around. This one was built, what, a few years ago? Uh, I think about four or five years ago. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, seven years ago. Uh, first night of the LITG Co-Ed League, uh, the summer league that we got going here and uh, <laughs> people in behind playing us there. Uh, Lacrosse is back and live, and we're into the summer game. The NLL is all over. Congratulations to the Washington Stealth. Yes. Uh, good run by the Toronto Rock, but it wasn't meant to be. Uh, but the summer game is back. Yeah, yeah. Just a little lead in there. Some of that footage we had was from uh, Whitby Warriors, Kitchener, Waterloo Braves. They're night at the historic Luther Vie Pond Arena in Brooklyn, Ontario. Great time had by all, Gary. Uh, you know, 300 or so people in the seats in there is like 30,000, <laughs> uh, and, and it's terrific. I talked to all kinds of people, and we got a little bit coming up in a couple of weeks time about Luther, Luther Vipond Arena that we want you to look forward to and watch lacrosse inside the game.com for that. Yeah, good start by the Warriors. Uh, they got the victory the other night against Kitchener Waterloo. And you were saying, I wasn't able to make the game, but you were saying, uh, very energetic team under the new uh, the new realm of Derek Keenan, Dan Latticer, and, and all the entourage there that are running the show now. Uh, a very spirited squad, I guess is the best way to put it. Very spirited. And the fact that they're getting a half a dozen or so games at the Luther Vipond, that nice little small four where you've got the back door, and especially two times in your own end. You can literally step out of the back door and you're at like where the face-off circle yeah. is. And so it makes her, uh, you know, I, I watched the saying to Gary earlier, young uh, uh, Lintner there, they just poise him coming out that back door and that kid can, man, he can sprint from, yeah. you know, zero to 60 and about nothing. And uh, it was terrific to watch it, watch down the corner there. You get a chance to go up here and watch these guys watch it. Yeah. Hey. A uh, little bit of uh, weird news out of the major series across here. The Barry Lake Shores suspending operations for 2010 is how it was explained. Yeah. Uh, what that does, though, they were supposed to be playing uh, Sunday. Actually, I think they are supposed to be playing tonight, Thursday night against Brooklyn. Sunday night, they were supposed to be at Ajax Pickering to play the, the, the Rock. Yeah. And what it's done now is it's created a game where the Brooklyn Redmen will be in Ajax on Sunday night. Later will be the Rock's inaugural home opener and uh, will be there. And uh, it's kind of cool, but I was getting back to the Barry Lake Shores. I think it's just a matter of uh, one of the owners in the league uh, with the ability to attract big stars because he's got a nice building and a whole bunch of money. And it's the other guy at the other end of the spectrum totally disagreeing with his philosophy and has just thrown his hands up in the air and says, that's it, I don't, I'm not going to put a team in this year. Well, I can't afford it. And we've talked about that for a long time, and uh, I guess it's come to fruition now, and I've said this a long time. Uh, the teams that run near the top every year, great for them, great attendance, and, and you know more power to you. But if at some point you start losing other teams in the league and have nobody to play, you're not going to be filling out your 3,000-seat uh, auditorium. No, it's not good at all. It's not a good scene. But, you know, so that condenses the league uh, down a bit, and hopefully that makes the talent pool a bit richer and the fans are treated to a better product all summer long. Uh, you know, we're going to be following the major series uh, along with everything else. Uh, Junior B in the area, Gales are what, 10 and 0? Yeah. Uh, that's great for them. Uh, like, uh, like I said, the, the Warriors playing in the, in the Luther Vipond. Uh, you guys, you can't miss this. This is great. Beautiful place to go. And uh, it takes you back about 25 or 30 years of what it was like to go to a lacrosse game then. It was hot and it was humid. Um, and uh, as you can see, uh, hang on, we'll just do this. I'll do this little bit right now. I'll run this little bit right now, Gary. Yeah, yes, the world famous $1 hot dogs are back, folks. Let's take a look at this bit right now. OLA, you've heard about them many, many times on my blog, and here it is one of the famous, world famous Whitby Warriors $1 hot dogs. Good man. Tasty. Mm. 
Do you Eagle. believe that? <laughs> the poor hot dog did not stand a chance. <laughs> no, it's great. World famous one dollar hot dog sold by the Whitby Warriors Ladies Auxiliary go to uh, raise money to help the Warriors uh, uh, pay their bills every year, and uh, it's a great time there. It's it's like I said, take, like I said, it takes you back. It's very community. Uh, it's just a couple of ladies behind there selling got water pot and these one dollar hot dogs they cooked up. I absolutely love it. It's yeah. great. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this week. Uh, as you said, behind us here, the game just finished, yeah. the first game of the night. That's not hopefully going to be the last time we see outdoor lacrosse in the coming seasons. And we'll just leave everybody on that note and let them think on it. Right on. Gary Bark along with Ron Besser, who is? Well, get out and see a lacrosse game. The season's in full swing right now. Stay safe, be good, keep your stick in the air. Right on. That'll be great. Have a good one, Gary. I was the only person I seen that ever put a ball.